Okay guys, got off work a little early today and I figured today would be a good day to shoot uh, the video I've been wanting to shoot and it's how to sculpt Bondo. Um, now, I will be out of the picture uh, while I'm filming this, I know, I know, sad, but uh, it's the only way where I can really show you how I'm going to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and get set up and then I'll edit this clip back in and we'll show you how to sculpt Bondo. Um, small disclaimer, uh, for purposes of tutorial and me talking, I will not be wearing a respirator, but I do strongly encourage wearing an organic respirator, especially for me, I have real bad sinus problems here in the shop, so I'm always wearing my respirator. Um, so, uh, keep that in mind, Bondo is very toxic, fiberglass is very toxic, it's good to keep your respirator on. Alright, now let me get set up and uh, we'll show you how to do this. Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and get started. I just got me some Bondo out of my bucket here. Uh, some of my Bondo was kind of stiff and uh, some of it was not. Uh, a lot of times with my Bondo, I'll mix fiberglass resin in with it without the hardener and um, that'll actually make it flow a lot smoother off of your spreader. Uh, a lot of people know that. Anyway, I'm going to just go ahead and start out and make a, a really hot batch of Bondo meaning using a lot of hardener so it's kind of warm in the shop today so this is going to set up pretty fast but that's what we want because the stage we want to work the bondo at is going to be um, when it's tacky and no longer spreadable so I'm just going to whip this up real fast you can make it a little less hot but then it takes a a lot longer for you to actually be able to carve it with your sculpting tool. So, uh, alright, we're mixed up pretty well there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to carefully gloop the Bondo where I want it to go. So, get some on my little tool there. And I'm filling in these uh, high ridges on the uh, Power Ranger helmet here. So I'm just go ahead and cake that on there like that. To make sure I got that gap good and filled. And with this method, you don't want to work too much Bondo at one time because uh, you have to sculpt it. So uh, you guys know my ongoing videos of the Power Rangers uh, basically transforming one helmet into another and showing you guys how to do that so this video basically I'm filling in the visor in these top gaps so I can get the appropriate shape to start the Blue Ranger and like I said guys this is mixed pretty hot so it's gonna start curing pretty quick and that is how we want it So I'm just going to basically smooth around here. And a lot of times with Bondo and, and props, people just glop it on there. But this is the only time you'll ever see me glopping it on here is using this method because uh, I highly recommend working a small area and a uh, small area at a time that way you can smooth and stuff as you go. So. So we're setting up pretty good now. All right, and we're at the tacky stage. Don't forget a little tackier. Now, um, you want to use tools you don't normally use your uh, your regular clay you sculpt with. But I just have a regular uh, clay rake. Still waiting it for it to get a little tackier. Okay, and remember your sculpting tools are metal, so the Bondo will stick to metal. So, 
But anyway, you can see the ridge here. That's what we're trying to close in to make this more round. So we're just waiting for it to set up a little. And there we go. So basically, it's just like your clay, guys. You're just going to uh, pull your tool and, and, and cut your clay down. See the clay is kind of really peeling off the top there where I didn't sand. I didn't give the Bondo any tooth to bite, but that's okay because we're just wanting to fill that gap and even it out, you know, so that works out great. So. Um People have been doing this in body shops for years. They use a rasp. I don't like the rasp because it get, tends to get clogged up if you start hitting on your Bondo before it's at the right consistency. But uh, I mean, you can see it works very well. And you can actually sharpen your clay tool and uh, even get a more a lot more off at one time but uh, I don't sharpen mine I just sand mine with some fine sandpaper and it keeps the edge on it so uh, like that you can see we started smoothing that ridge now as you can guess you know you'll need more bondo to smooth and such but this gets you to your rough shape really fast so uh, on this helmet I actually want do any spot filling till I'm, I'm ready to finish the helmet. So this has brought that back up to round. All right, and uh, yeah, the front visor has got a little hard, but uh, that's cool. We're just filling it in, so we really don't need to carve a whole lot off the front visor. But you can come on the side where your helmet was smooth there and pull it right off because there's no tooth for it to grab. Just like that. Let's see. Round gap. Yeah. No gap. So. So. And, uh, go ahead and do a little redundancy here. I got another glop of Bondo. And uh, all I'm going to do with my shavings, the shavings are nice and dry and not sticky. You just throw them away. Throw them right in the trash. You could actually mix them back in with the Bondo and make a thicker layer to for your fill there but shouldn't be any need for that right now right, go ahead and mix this another hot batch here Got our batch nice and hot there. I'll spread it like cream. Eh? As far as the helmet goes, I'm just uh, closing out this visor. 
and uh, rounding the helmet back. So that's all we're doing. Working the bondo. Now we're basically uh, waiting for it to get a little tackier, a little harder. bit more. Like I said, uh, just using sculpting tools so you can use a smaller sculpting tool if you need to. And just remember to clean your sculpting tool because it is clay. Okay guys, I wasn't going to include this video and I don't know if you hear me, I might have to overdub myself. But basically I'm making a slurry uh, with the plastic fibers that I used from my bandsaw. By taking that and turning it in with the Bondo, I'm able to make a really thick, almost travelable paste. So, I just grab uh, some more fibers here. Make it a little thicker. But see, ultimately what I'm doing is, uh, like you see here, I didn't videotape this, but I was able to make the whole ridge here. That solid uh, Bondo. I just drew my lines and molded the Bondo inside the clay. Now, using the slurry here, I'll just add my hardener and basically glump it in there. And once it's a solid, then I'll have the remote shape of the horn and I'll be able to sculpt it. This is a clay I used just in my shop. So what I did was I mixed a little of the plastic fibers in with it so it doesn't stick to the vault, the uh, 
the Bondo really bad because as soon as the Bondo starts heating up, it'll melt the clay. And it's hard to get out. So with those fibers in there, it never makes a good stick to this and should be able to pull it right off. Okay, I'm thinking this is just just like sculpting guys, but with Bondo, so what I'm going to do is uh, got my mold here, we're going to put some hardener in our slurry, and uh, just basically fill that sucker up, that way uh, later on we can shape it however we want, just like adding more clay and then chopping it back down, same principle. Make sure you get your Bondo mix good. So, this stuff's very sticky in the slurry state, so just uh, use your tools. And this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to hold it like this, and I'm going uh, to put my Bondo in there. Well, it's still pliable. 